Hi, I'm Dr. Dean Eggett from the Oakwood Surgery in Cantley here in Doncaster. Um, I've got some good news and I've got some bad news for you today. The good news is that summer is finally here. It's 30 degrees C outside, really hot, really nice. The bad news is that doctors such as myself are going to let you know about the risks of melanomas. And that's what this video is about today, to teach you how to recognise a nice looking mole and a dodgy looking mole. So hopefully with the magic of technology I'm going to bring some pictures up on the side and we're going to talk through them. So as doctors we use something called the ABCD criteria to help us recognise whether a mole is a dodgy mole or a safe mole. And of course by dodgy moles we mean melanomas, the type of mole that occurs from excessive sun exposure, UV radiation, sunbeds, that sort of stuff. The reason why we keep telling you to put sun tan lotion on. The ABCD score stands for A, asymmetry, B, border, C, colour, and D, diameter. Some other people have adopted changes to this ABCD criteria and put an E on the end or a number on the end, but the basic principle is ABCD. It's as simple as the alphabet. So A stands for asymmetry. A nice normal looking mole has two sides to it which look almost identical. You wouldn't expect one side to look strange and another side look completely different. It should look symmetrical. Put a mirror in the middle and one side should look much the same as the other. A dodgy mole is asymmetrical. B stands for border. With a nice normal looking mole I would expect there to be a clear, crisp, edge to the mole, a nice border. Dodgy moles, melanomas, tend to have borders which are uneven, slightly fade out, notched. It looks like a non-clear edge to the mole. That's border. C stands for colour. So in a nice normal mole, I would expect the colour to be uniform across the mole. I wouldn't expect there to be patches, I wouldn't expect it to look mosaic. And in melanomas, you tend to find that the mole can look mosaic in pattern in different colours, black bits, paler bits, darker bits, lighter bits. That's colour. And D stands for diameter. The smaller the mole, the more likely it is to be a healthy mole. Melanomas and dodgy moles start to get bigger. So anything above six millimetres in size would tick up a red flag and alarm bell in the GP's head to say, OK, we need to have a closer look at this. Now not one of those criteria tells you that it's a melanoma. We look at all four of those features to try and figure out whether it's a nice mole or a dodgy mole. So if you've got a mole that you're not sure about, pop in to see us and we will have a look at it for you.